Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a video from March and I just wanted to show you how I cared for these twists. So the product that I used to create these twists are St. Clair's Hair Care Homemade Leave-In Conditioner and Equibotanics Black Seed Oil. So those are the two products that I used and I loved the outcome of these twists. This was way before I, I trimmed my hair in March. So I'd say probably two, three weeks before I trimmed my hair. So I still had a little bit of length. So yeah, I just wanted to show you what I did to revitalize my hair after a week of wearing the twists. So this is a week later after doing my twist and I'm just showing you the state of my scalp and my hair. I did band my twists after doing them just to get a bit of a stretch. I am going to spray my hair with a bit of water. Uh, I don't think I showed that in this video. And then go in with my marula leave-in conditioner it's amazing I am just going to squeeze that into my hair because it's a cream and my hair is in twist I have to squeeze it in just to make sure that the cream makes its way into the hair where it needs to be so remember to spray your hair with some water that's what allows the product to spread with a bit more ease so i concentrate that on the length of my hair but i also make sure to to get some on the roots of my hair i find this to be quite therapeutic but to be honest with you i do not always have time to re-moisturize my hair and since august this year i have been sick with covid and I think I had that for two months. So I couldn't really do anything with my hair for two months. I wasn't even wearing bonnets. And my hair care since August has literally just gone down the drain. It's awful. And then since getting over COVID, my son started nursery in October. And then he's been bringing home nursery germs and making me sick. So since October, I've been on well. So even though I took him to nursery so I could really just concentrate on this channel, I haven't been able to because he's just been making me sick and I've been looking after him because he's been sick so that I'm not looking after myself. So it's just been a vicious cycle because I remember that I did a, a poll about when you guys wanted me to post and stuff because I thought I was going to get a lot of time to really put into this channel but that hasn't happened so i'm hoping the next year i'll be able to he seems to be settling in better into nursery so he's not been sick the last two weeks so i'm praying for the best so one thing i like about this product is it's not too oily because i find that a lot of products made for like 4c hair is very oily but this product is not oily at all and it really just delivers the moisture that you need So as you can see, I am still just applying it all over my hair. So now that I've put all that into my hair, I am going to then follow up with the black seed oil, which is another favorite. So I start by applying it to the end of my hair. Just to look at the difference already in my hair, slowly getting life back. I also apply it to my scalp. So this is a growth oil and it has over 30 Ayurveda herbs. So it's perfect for my edges because they broke due to postpartum shedding. I used it for a bit. I didn't really use it as much as I should have. My husband is the one who used it more and he saw good results. But yeah, I just used it here and there. I loved it for my blowout, which 
you guys would have seen also when I did that back in March so I'm just massaging that into my scalp I'd love to know how often do you guys massage your scalp and do you massage your scalp for growth or do you massage it for moisture or to ease itching or because I don't think that I need to oil my scalp for anything else other than to stimulate my hair follicles to grow so that's really the only reason why I do it because I just find that it takes a lot of time um, and usually because I put too much product in my hair anyway it always ends up on my scalp <laughs> so that's why I don't usually like sit and oil my scalp but if it's for hair growth I will do it So now that I've oil finished oiling my scalp, I am just putting my hair into a banded ponytail again to keep it for the next week. So I can see that this was squeezing a little bit of the product out of my hair. I didn't have, have enough bands, so I had to make do with this. So that's it. So usually I would have used my other silk scrunchies but I couldn't find them for this video so I just used what I've got but I am not a sort of hair care snob. I do like to use quality products but if I can't find something I will use something else but mostly I will use the good quality stuff but either way it's not, it's not a deal breaker like my hair is not going to fall out from just one use. So yeah, this is how my hair is going to be for the next couple of days until I'm ready to style again. So definitely go and support Equi Botanics. I love their product. It's a bit on the expensive side, but the quality shows as well. This is a bonnet I got from my girl Simply Comfort. It's called Ankara Bonnet on Instagram. So definitely check them out. I'll put the link in my description box just wanted to show you my midweek re-moisturizing routine with equi botanics and now i am off to bed good night <laughs> bye guys